Hey funnel builders, Mike here from sellyourservice.co.uk. This is the first most important step in starting a marketing funnel business. If you wanna start a marketing funnel business, you've gotta start with this step, it's very, very important. And it's ultimately, what is the vision that you have for your life? Now that might sound like an enormous, grandiose question to be able to ask someone just who wants to basically start a marketing funnel business, but I'll tell you why this is so important in this video. So the reason you have to know more about what it is that you want from life is because that's gonna directly affect what you want from your marketing funnel business. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to understand what it is that you do want from life and what it is that you do want from your funnel business. I'm gonna help you craft a vision for your funnel business. They're remarkably simple. They don't have to have too much in them. Don't worry about uh, how big you're gonna get. A lot of people instantly go, well, the vision for the business is you know, to have 10 members of staff. I don't want that, or 50 members of staff. I don't want that, I don't wanna stay big. Um, that's not what we're gonna be looking at today. I want you to start thinking about the ways that you're going to grow and start thinking about the things that you're gonna share. Ultimately, what's the difference that you're gonna make in people's lives around you? There's a big um, there's a big move, I think, at the moment for people to start focusing again on things like their vision, their mission, their internal vision. We always have these things like the laws of attraction, and I've talked a little bit about like why goals and stuff don't work, but I found a lot of the time when marketing funnel businesses sit down and decide that they want to start running a funnel business, they neglect to answer this very, very important question. What happens is that people tend to dive into running a marketing funnel business. They set up all of the automations and they get all the tools and, the, and they start going out and speaking to people and start building it. But without a vision for the future and a direction for where you wanna take the business, it never grows or gets better. And what happens is the business becomes a bit of a chore. Because there's no growth or vision to kind of make changes and change direction within the business and make sure that it's headed in a very specific direction, it becomes something of a bit of a repetitive task and most people fall out of love with it. The reason that I have stuck with these businesses for so long and um, committed to them, and frankly, I, personally, I don't think they are, it is that long. It's about five years now, but I've stuck with it all the way through crazy amounts of debt, through really great profit, through big um, collapses in kind of the marketplace around us and our own business. We've had a lot of problems. The reason I've stuck with it through all those problems and it's never felt boring to me is because I have a very clear vision of where I want to take the business. And frankly, I did the same for Sell Your Service. I've done the same for any number of partnerships that we've worked on. And this is a big problem because people don't focus on it. Maybe it's because it's too big a question and people have never really thought about it before. They've never challenged themselves. Maybe it's because they think they don't really need it and they think, oh, look, I just wanna earn some money and we'll talk about that in a bit. I just wanna earn some money. And the problem is it be kind of becomes a machine that you're just stuck in a part of and you kind of work inside it, but it never really shifts direction uh, and makes your life better, which is ultimately why you want to set up a business in the first place, right? It's to make your life better. I think there's a big, big misconception and there's a myth that to have a vision for your business, you can say, oh, I just want to have, I just want to pay the bills. Okay, I just want to pay the bills and have a happy, comfortable life. You can't have that as a vision. It sounds, it sounds very noble, it sounds very humble to say, look, I just wanna be able to pay the bills and put my kids through school and, and pay for things and occasionally go on a holiday. The reason that doesn't work isn't because the goal isn't right for you, but because the vision itself isn't big enough to force you to start playing at a higher level. This is a big uh, phenomenon that I've found in a lot of businesses is that the thinking that got them to the situation you're in now or the situation they're in now, the thinking that got them there, everything you've got now, you've got because of what you've done in the past, okay? So in order to start thinking, well, I just wanna maintain where I am, you can't use the thinking that's got you here. You have to up that level. You have to up that play game in order to be able to maintain your current life. It sounds counterintuitive, but there's loads of examples where this kind of happens in real life. If I just took my money and uh, hid it under my mattress, the mere fact of inflation would mean that that value of money, even though I've got the physical amount is exactly the same, it actually is worth less over time because of inflation. And I want you to think about your life in the same way. If you are to say you wanna maintain this current lifestyle that you've got, 
Uh, first of all, is it that painful enough or is it that you want to grow enough? Is that compelling enough to start a business? Because if not, you're going to really struggle with that in future. But if it is something that you want to change and there's a direction you want to change, you have to start thinking bigger than that. And you have to start thinking, actually, I do want a bigger house. I do want my kids to go to a better school. I do want to take more holidays. I don't want to work 45 hours a week. And you have to think about a slightly larger vision than where you are now in the same respect that if you had a target for $10 million worth of revenue and you only hit a million, you wouldn't have hit that million if your goal was originally a million. You would have hit maybe 10% of that or 20% of that. So you've got to have this bigger vision in order to be able to up your play style um, and keep pushing yourself. The good news is that everyone in the world uh, wants you to do well, frankly. There's very few people that actually don't want you to do well. I can guarantee you that I want you to do well. I'd love you to make more money than I do and work fewer hours and have more success than I do. So if you ever think, ah, people, when they have these big visions, you know, no one's really going to support me, I guarantee you, you've got one person on your team. That's me. I am 100% supporting you in whatever you want your vision to be. So with that, your your vision has to be bigger than. Uh, I just want to pay the bills. It has to be bigger than that because otherwise you'll never reach that goal. What you've got now, you've got because of everything you've done in the past. So therefore, if you want to maintain that or maintain or increase the level of comfort you've got, you can't stay with the thinking that you've got now. So here's how I like to start thinking about kind of my vision for a larger life. I do this once every six months maybe. I've got a pretty clear vision on where I want my overall life to go. But for the business, we kind of assess it every quarter. But when you're starting a business, you have to have a very clear idea, particularly a funnel business. You have to have a very clear idea of where you want to take it. So I want you to think about the things that you value. We all have values, right? I now value education and money and free time and family and passion and obsession and reading. These are all these things that I value. And often, whatever we're getting now is a direct result of what it is that we've that what it is that we value. If you currently suffer from a lot of debt, somewhere, somewhere you will value debt. You'll value things more than saving money. And you need to understand where that is. You might think that you value money, but in actual fact, it might turn out that what you do truly value is, is debt, which is why you have a lot of it. It might not even be something that you like to admit that you value, but somewhere along the way, you value having things more than saving money. And that's fine. But here's the reason we have to list out these values and really think about what it is that we value is because whatever we value, we're going to get more of. Okay, so if I value comfort, okay, and security and knowing where my next paycheck's coming from, I'm going to have that. I'll have that, all of those things. But that won't necessarily lead me to growth and it certainly won't lead me to having a better life because I'm comfortable and secure with where I am now. So if there's anything in your life that you want to change, frankly, you can't value comfort and you can't value security. You have to think about what is it that I value and is that going to get me more of what I want in the future? Let's say you want to get rid of debt or what you want is more time with your family. That was a big one for me is I, 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 I wanted to spend more time doing activities with my family, going and visiting people, um, being able to take care of people without having to work 45, 50 hours a week. But it turned out that what I really valued was working. I, I valued working and appearing to work hard. And instead, that didn't get me what I wanted. So I had to change my values. I had to really look at what it is that I valued and what I was getting more of. A really good way of understanding this is looking at what you have a lot of now. And chances are that's probably a reflection of the things that you value. But if you think, but I don't want all of those things. Some of um, some of my our, our funnel builders in our community, you know, they realize that what they have is a lot of friends and family who aren't supportive, but clearly they value that structure and that network, but they think, actually, I don't want that. And they have to change that priority for those particular negative members of your family and negative friends. And you have to change that to value positive friends. I guarantee if you value that and truly value that and, and want to go find more, more of them, then you will have attract more of them into your life. You're going to keep getting what you're getting if you don't change your values. It's as simple as that. So when you set up your business, if your values and your vision 
aren't very clear in your mind, you're going to keep getting what you're getting now, no matter how hard you work. And this is the, the, the horrible trap that I see so many people fall into, is they do work extremely hard. They're intelligent, they're good people, and they've got a lot to offer the world. But because they don't change their values, they're never going to reach um, this better lifestyle. Um, one of the things that I like to look at is what's the change that I want to see in the world? Maybe what's the change that I want to see in the marketplace? What's the change that I want to see in my life? And just write them down. I think, well, I'd like more people to have more money. I'd like everyone to have more money and more control over money. I'd like everyone to have more financial freedom. I'd like everyone to sell more of their products. I'd like to help more people help more people. Let's say I work with a fitness instructor and they help people lose weight or come off diabetes medication I'd love to help them help more people. So by building funnels and helping them reach a wider audience, I'm directly impacting the number of people that they can help. And these are the sort of changes that I want to see in the world. And I have to think to myself, well, what do I value in order to get that? What's my vision is to help more people helping people? Well, what is it that I value that's going to help me get that? A really quick exercise is to list out what you want in the next year, the next three years, the next five years. Just list it out. Try to get about 50 different items, which sounds like a lot, but it's kind of, that's only one page of A4. Uh, list out 50 items of things that you want. And this could be places you want to go, people that you want to visit, things you want to eat, things you want to try, do, see, have, experience, all of those things. Uh, everything, including the materialistic stuff, that's absolutely fine to say, do you know what? I want a decent TV. I want a better car. I want a bigger house. That's absolutely fine. Um, I, I honestly do think that there's nothing wrong with that. And then I want you to think about, well, who do you need to be in order to get that those things? Who do you need to be? What type of person do you need to be to get those things? And what we're doing is beginning to craft a vision where we're saying, my vision, my personal vision is to be the world's foremost coach for helping funnel builders sell and build more marketing funnels. I want to help marketing funnel builders build and sell more marketing funnel builders and be the world's most famous number one marketing funnel builder, uh, sales expert helping marketing funnel builders uh, sell more funnels. I want to be number one at that. That's my vision. Okay, so what's the vision for the business? Well, the business directly helps more people sell marketing funnels. Okay, this is this vision that I've got. And yeah, we've got other things like I want to have a team of 10 people. I want to have a couple of offices around the world. Uh, I'd like to have a bigger home office, build it in the studio down in our garden, things like that. What, who do I need to be to get those things? And that's where our values come into play. So what do I need to do to be that person? So who do I need to be? Well, I need to be reliable. I need to be confident. I need to be willing to share. I need to be helpful. I need to be positive. I need to be kind. Okay, well, what do I need to do to be those things? Well, I need to do kind things. I need to share more content. I need to help more people. And what that helps me do is craft this overall purpose and structure towards my business and my life because the business should fit in with my life. And what I'm doing is I'm plotting a course for a better future, a better tomorrow through my business. And it's vital that you do that within your funnel bills business. Even if you're starting out, craft something that says, do you know what? This is where I want to go. You don't even have to put a time frame on it if you don't want to. This is just somewhere that you want to go and keep reading this over. Keep looking at it. I'll link um, the video to my uh, goal setting um, workshop as well. Uh, on why goals don't work. And also we've got a program, an audio program, which I'll link below. I think it's $47 um, on how to get more done every day and enjoy doing it all to do with funnel builders. Really, really amazing stuff that we've got going on. So in the meantime, guys, thank you so much. If you have got a vision, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to read more of them, read more about where you want to take your future. If you've got any questions about this process, let me know in the comments below and I'll get around to answering them. Thanks very much, guys. I am Mike from sellyourservice.co.uk and keep building those funnels.